In this session, we're going to use this simple cable stayed footbridge to look at the cable tuning facility. Now, if I go to the attributes and look at the geometric sections, the main deck is a cellular box structure. If I go to the analysis tab, you can see that I've got dead load and I've got surfacing. Now, if I select these lines, I have renumbered these lines to be 100 and above. I now want to renumber this point here. This is point 12. I select the point, right hand mouse button, renumber, and I want to set this to be 1000. It's the point that I'm renumbering, not the node. If I now select the point again, you can see I've renumbered it to be 1000. I'm now going to run the analysis and look at the dead load deflections. So what we can see is the sagging of the deck due to dead load. Now in a cable tuning analysis, I want to work out what forces to put in the cables to produce a flat or pre-cambered deck structure. Now to do that, I'm just going to select the lines representing the cables and I'm going to go to analysis cable tuning. In an exact analysis, we have to have the same number of cables as we do targets and this will produce a unique set of cable forces to meet the criteria. In an optimized analysis, you'll have more cables than exact targets. Now this can produce several sets of cable forces and you can choose to minimize the solution to meet the criteria. In a best fit analysis, you have more exact targets than you do cables. Now in this case, no set of cable forces will meet the criteria exactly, so you can choose to minimize the deviation from the targets. Now in this case, we're gonna do an exact analysis. I'm gonna select the lines representing the cables and include those. For the load cases, we're going to tune against self-weight and surfacing, so I'm gonna include those. And for the targets, I want to select some points on the model. Now I'm gonna hold the P key down and drag a box around this area. And this is gonna select the points at the ends of the cables. I'm also going to select the point at the top of the tower. Now, these are gonna be my target locations. And we're gonna look at displacement, DZ, and the target is going to be zero. Now, DZ is the vertical direction here. So if I okay that, you'll see that my targets have been added. Now, 0.1000 at the top here, I don't want DZ, I want DX, because that's the longitudinal direction. So we have our cable tuning analysis, which I'm now going to solve. Once it's solved, I'm gonna set active the results. And what I'll see on the screen is the deflected shape from our cable tuning analysis. Now, if I select the points at the ends of the cables, you can see my exact criteria of zero deflection has been met. If I right hand mouse button calculated factors, these are the forces that I need to put into these lines to achieve this flat structure. Now in this cable here, I've got a very large force at the moment. Now I'm gonna do a second cable tuning analysis to see if I can reduce that force. Now I'm gonna hold the control key down to drag analysis one down. This creates a second cable tuning analysis which I can edit. Now, I want to put some flexibility at the top of the tower, so I'm going to right hand mouse button, edit, and I'm going to use an optimized solution in this case. Now the targets at the moment are exact, so they're equals. I'm going to change this to be smaller than or equal to, and I'm going to put 50 mil, so 0 0.005. I'm going to add a second criteria that's going to be larger than or equal to minus 50 mil, so minus 0 0.005. So I'm allowing a bit of flexibility at the top of the tower, 100 mil movement, 50 mil either side. Now here, I'm gonna to choose to minimize the sum of the calculated factors. Now, if I okay this, I've got a second cable tuning analysis. I'm now gonna rename this second cable tuning analysis to be 50 mil tower movement. And once I've finished renaming this, I'm going to run the analysis. Okay, so the, I'm going to set the results active. 
I'm still meeting my zero criteria for vertical deflection, but you can see that I've allowed a little bit of flexibility at the top of the tower. This will have reduced the cable forces. Now I'm actually going to look at the bending moment on the structure. So I'm setting active the bending moment. Now I just want to see the bending moment in the tower. So I'm selecting that line and setting as results only. And at the moment, you can see that the bending moment is 17,000 at the bottom of the tower. Now, this might be too big, so I'm going to do a third cable tuning analysis where I add a optimization criteria for bending moment. So I'm going to drag analysis two down. I'm going to rename it and add the words limit MY. Once I've done that, I'm going to edit the third cable tuning analysis to add a further target. Now the target that I'm going to look for here is for the line. So I'm going to pick the line, I'm going to add, and I'm going to choose force moment, MY. Now the target criteria at the moment is exact, so it's equals. I'm going to change that to smaller than or equal to. And the target is going to be 1500 rather than the 17,000. OK, so we've added the extra criteria. I can solve this third cable tuning analysis. If I set this active, you can see that I've now met my criteria of 1500 at the bottom of the tower. Now, I'm just going to switch off the diagrams, switch back on all the results, and I can show you that I've still got my target criteria of zero vertical displacement. Now, if I look at the calculated factors, these are the cable forces that I'll need to assign to the lines to produce the desired criteria of zero vertical displacement and a limit on the MY bending moment. Now, if I right hand mouse button on the result, I can create a load case in the base analysis. Now, the base analysis is up here. So if I OK this, I get a load case that has the cable forces assigned to the lines. I can then use this for further post-processing of the model. So I'm going to solve the base analysis. And once I've solved the base analysis, I can create a combination of the dead load, surfacing and cable forces. I'm going to set this combination active and I can then look at post-processing this combination. So I'm going to go to my layers tab in the tree view. I'm going to select the diagram layer and I'm going to change this from thick beams to bar. The bars are the cables in the model and I'm going to look at FX. So on the screen now, I'm looking at the resultant cable forces I end up with from this cable tuning analysis.